everybody today i'm going to talk about how to burn a dvd on a mac in 2023 now if you're new here casino so i'm going to read the bell so i talked about dvds and cds recently in not my previous video but the one before that and i know that not many people are doing this nowadays but i wanted to kind of provide a tutorial on how to do this because i mean there are other tutorials out there but what i'm mainly talking about is how to play it on a dvd player and stuff like that so i wanted to talk about that today so yeah, let's get started. So before I start, I want to say there's a couple different types of DVDs. So uh, the one I'm going to be using today is DVD-R. And uh, this is the type where you can only burn it one time. These are okay, but the ones I would recommend getting are the DVD rewritable ones. Because like you can burn these multiple times and you're not wasting discs if you have something that you burn that you don't need. Like DVD prices have really gone down. Like I mentioned in the DVD and CD blank uh, haul video, like I got all of that for $40. So uh, yeah, so that's, you can either have one of these or one of these DVD R ones and you'll also need a uh, disc drive. So I actually found this recently, like it was in the depths of the uh, barn where my dad kept all his old tech and uh, this is a 2012 uh, Fusion Drive, and it still works great. Uh, but the thing is, is that uh, if you have newer Mac that doesn't support the new ports, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. So uh, what I recommend getting are these small USB-A to USB-C adapters. There are the ones where like you could do a bunch of different ports too, but there's a brand that I wouldn't recommend buying from. I don't know what it's called, but uh, recently mine overheated for some reason and it was so hot that I couldn't even touch it and now it doesn't work so yeah so I recommend these small ones because they don't require much power and we, you're gonna need this and uh yeah uh let's go over to the computer all right guys so I'm on my mac now and uh sorry if my mac is very messy this is really bad right now it's actually it's not as bad as my old desktop or my old uh like mac so yeah, I have the DVD Fusion Drive plugged in. There it is. Uh, you inserted a blank DVD, choose an action from the pop-up menu or click ignore. I usually just do open finder because that's, yeah, I'm just gonna make that action the default. Uh, so yeah, you open that and then you can either click it right here or you can go over here and choose finder. So uh, I, yeah, I think that's DVD three. So this is Untitled DVD three. And mainly what I want to do is have it play on a normal dvd player the dvd player that i have is really old so it doesn't read mp4 files so uh there's a separate program that i recommend getting called burn for mac so uh because i've noticed that basically almost all the programs that you try to find on uh like for burning dvds you have to pay for them nowadays which sucks but yeah, so, uh, open burn. I know there's, like, people who use, like, image burn and stuff like that, for Windows at least. But here's the thing with image burn. You gotta find a good link, because most of them have viruses. So, uh, but this one is really safe. Like, I've heard a lot of good things about this one. So yeah, when you open it up, uh, this is the screen that it'll have. And, uh, and then there it is. Oh, it's, I think it's actually a super drive. But Apple Super Drive... And I have the discs that are 4.7 gigabytes in size, which is more than enough for me. So let's title this. So uh, we'll just do uh, DVD or test DVD. Okay. And then uh, you could also do like audio for like CDs and stuff. I do DVDs way more than I do CDs. Uh, let's put a video in here. Uh, so basically what this will do is when I find a video, yeah, here's one I want to do, uh, Baby Sinclair. So, uh, so basically, uh, this actually can convert other file types into, uh, like, the file type that it needs, because this converts any format, basically, to MPG. Sometimes with newer d DVD players, it can do MP4, but mine is just too old. And it's kind of weird because it will give you a location to save it. But yeah, so there's choose. I, I kind of don't like wasting it on one file because it's, I mean, I have so many DVDs since I did that haul. But yeah, so that's, a, it's now converted to MPG. Uh, so uh, let's burn that. 
and uh yeah so that's apple super drive i i mean i've heard people say that you do it a slower amount of time but it works for me with i do maximum so yeah let's burn it now it might take a little bit depending on how good how uh many files are on it this shouldn't take that long because it's only uh 47 megabytes so all right so i think it should be done at any second usually i like uh ejecting it when the dvd drive goes silent because this one makes a lot of noise all right i think it's done so uh i, I just really don't recommend doing dvds from the finder because it's just especially when you're doing it with an older dvd drive or a dvd uh player if you want to play it on a tv or something like that it just isn't compatible that much. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eject this and uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys to the TV. Okay, so here's the TV. I decided to do this on the CRT because the TV, the other one I have, is just crowded with uh, messy room stuff, which I need to fix that. But yeah, so uh, turn this DVD player on. Yeah, this is like a really old one. It's like Sony and uh, yeah, that's pretty old. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And uh, the first time I tried to do this, I tried to do it with an MP4, but I just said no image data. So, all right, let's put this in. And uh, there we go. All right, here's the menu. So uh, it's not the best menu ever, but it works. So um, yeah, so I think you just press start on that. And there you go. I love how I did this video. Yeah, so there you go. Now the aspect ratio might be a little bit different because the original video was in 4x3. And even when it's a 16x9, it won't fill the entire screen. So it's probably better to do this on a widescreen TV, but yeah. Oh yeah, so there you go. Yeah, so there it is. Um, which I think I'm just so glad that I figured it out because this took a long time to do. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of a bit of a random video, but I just wanted to do this today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.